Hi friends, welcome to Pixel by Omnitrix. I am Haripriya and my teammate is Anirudh. We bring this presentation to you to explain about automobile and how does an engine work. Now, let's get into the topic. Different types of automobiles. These are the different types of automobiles for different purposes we are aware of. In this picture, you can see a car, a taxi, a truck, a fire engine and a lot of other vehicles which we see around in our daily lives. These are few examples of automobiles. Now, it's time for you to think. How exactly do you think the automobile shown in the previous slide work? They work on an engine. The engine delivers power to the automobile. In other words, engine is a machine which converts power into motion. Here's a picture of a working engine. A frequently used engine will usually have four stages in converting the petrol, the diesel or whatever fuel we used into power. And these stages are usually called as strokes. Now, these are the four strokes or stages of any ordinary engine. First one, fuel intake or simply taking in petrol or diesel. Second one, compression. Third, the power stroke. Fourth, exhaust or leaving out the unburned gas. So the first stroke is fuel intake. In this stroke, engine takes in the fuel, which might be petrol or diesel or the fuel on which the engine is designed to run. Now, as you can see in this picture on the top left corner, there is a wall which is called as an intake wall. So through that wall, the petrol or the diesel or any other fuel will enter into the engine. And this stroke is called as fuel intake. Now, the second stage is called as compression. In this stroke, the cylinder moves up, compressing the fuel at a very high temperature and pressure. As you can see, when we uh, intook the fuel in the last slide, the same fuel will be compressed at a very, very high temperature and pressure. And this complete process is called as compression. You can see that in this picture shown below. Next stroke is power or combustion stroke. In this stroke, the fuel burns at high temperature and pressure caused by the previous stroke. This fuel when burns gives power to move the car. As we saw in the previous slide, the uh, fuel which is intook is compressed at a very high temperature. When a fuel is compressed at such a high temperature, there is pressure caused. And due to this pressure, the fuel which is there will start burning at a very high temperature. So this will result in the car to move. And that is why an engine is called as a machine which converts the power into motion. Our final stroke is called as exhaust. So in this stroke, after the fuel is burnt, the gas is removed from the automobile, which is usually seen as smoke. What exactly happens in the stroke is uh, whatever gas which is left unburnt or whatever fuel is left unburnt in the power stroke or combustion uh, stroke is let out through this smoke. So you can see in this picture, there is a exhaust valve to the top right corner and that is the wall through which the smoke is going out. And you can see in another picture where an automobile or a car is letting out smoke. And that is how a car runs. Now you have answered your questions on how an automobile works. That was some information about an engine. Going on a quick tour about what we learned today, we saw a few examples of automobile. 
we saw how a engine helps an automobile to move. We also saw that engine is a machine which converts power into motion in four different strokes, that is the intake stroke, the compression stroke, the combustion stroke, and then finally the exhaust stroke. We hope you've learned something about automobiles today. Please do share your thoughts. Thank you. Let's catch up in the next video.